who stumbled into Hard Knocks Tarot. This message is for anyone who um, happens to be watching this video. Nothing is uh, happening on accident. Everything is purposeful. So let's see what your ancestors, let me see what ancestors want to come through and tell you. Somebody was just about to give up on something. Someone felt left out, kicked to the curb, not chosen, not picked, not hired. There was, could be any of, or all of those, but there was a great disappointment. Somebody worked really hard at something put a lot of high hopes, put all their energy towards a situation and is ready to walk away, ready to give up. They even put money into it. But something stopped them from walking. Something made them stop and think. Someone might be coming back after already walking away. But at one time, they were counseling everyone that would listen to get advice on this, to try to get out of this energy of just not being good enough, being not up to par. took all their power away, lost who they were, didn't feel like anyone special. Yeah, they were rejected by someone that they valued quite, quite a bit. Someone feels taken advantage of and fooled. This is someone, this is soul recognition. This is a very close tie. Past lives, several. person that I'm reading did not feel like they were valued equally as they valued their loved one, their person. Intuitively, you heard a voice to not let this go. Or somebody did. To rest, to think about this. Over. <sighs> Somebody was losing patience, obviously, from throwing their pearls to swine, to speak, throwing all they had at their person and just getting disappointed over and over again. This person spent a lot of money on them and didn't get the appreciation that, that they expected. And they're losing their temper. There's a sense of obsession here.
here is an energy of obsession. An energy of holding on too tight. Not letting things flow naturally. Getting upset because things aren't happening in their right timing. Things didn't work out the way they want to in the right time. I am getting a very controlling energy. But the person that is controlling was rejected. The other person did not feed into this high. This is not a healthy tie at this time. There's some karmic unfinished business here, definitely. the second four of cups coming out. I'm sorry, it's not so much cups. Um, but this person is tired of feeling like they're not good enough. person feels like they were to being taken advantage of money-wise. They feel obligated to pay for things for this person, which is another reason why they're walking away. Decision was made. Why? Spirit asking me to stop. Looks like there is unfinished business with this will card in reverse. The cycle has not yet ready to end. We have a page of wands here with the four of swords and the will card in reverse. Okay. So in the not so far future, I think this is um, possible future energy here feel like the page of wands is, you know, a possible action of not leaving the situation. That's what it feels like, a second thought. Maybe feeling like it wouldn't be right to leave quite yet. I feel like you know, or somebody knows, that this person is needs them. Yeah. Five of discs in reverse. Yeah. So this person needs you. Switch the rules as it fits. But what I'm seeing here is this person needs you, needs your money, needs your emotional support, and you are trying to move in a way that is not comfortable because you're being controlling and you want to control you want to control the timeline you want to control how the relationship flows how quickly it goes somebody is one person's into the other person more There is a lesson to be had here. Two many cards. Spirit, why should the collective stop and think about leaving? What is in it for them to stay and to help out? If it's not love. Temperance in reverse, temperance in the upright, alongside the four of swords. 
your guides are saying, Kamate, calm the fuck down. Just because you're not getting your way right here, right now, doesn't mean that there's not something good in it for you. Like, let the energy flow. Let the timeline flow. You don't know what's going to be behind the next corner. You don't know what you could be missing if you just had some patience. If you just read the book and see what was on the next page instead of just saying, oh, well, this book sucks. I'm going to throw it in the fire. Spirit wants to talk about patience. Spirit wants to talk about holding back. Holding back any future plans that you might be making to let go a little bit on some of these control issues. Eight of Wands in reverse. Yep. Good things will happen if you just calm the fuck down and let let things un unfold, let things unwrap themselves. What's going on with this world card in reverse? says just be a good person something great is going to come out of this something that is for you something very lucky something that does have to do with money and career something very valuable yep yes ace of ace of pentacles nine of pentacles ace of wands in and through knowing this person and seeing and seeing through and not giving up you are going to meet Possibly some business partners or some type of connection here that has to do with money. You just might be somewhere at the right place at the right time to, you know, meet up with someone that you haven't seen in a long time. You know, anything could happen. Spirit is saying something good is around the corner. They don't want to tell me exactly what it is or any more detail, but something out of the blue while you're in company with this person is going to uh, going to present itself and it's going to be uh, something awesome something awesome that is going to help you out help your life big time so it has something to do with this person this connection so you know we know you're very in love or they are with you or, you know, just infatuated. Definitely infatuated. Ace of Cups in reverse and the Judgment card. Yeah, your person is not... Is not looking for... Anything new. Not looking for um, anything... That is going to put more burden on them. If anything, they are trying to understand everything that's happened in the past and just still trying to heal and let go of some things from the past. Yeah. Still trying to heal. With this judgment card, still trying to just make sense of what's already happened in their life. Okay, Spirit, what is this random blessing in their life? Please give us some info on this random blessing. If you are are showing patience and letting go of control and are just following your heart and doing things for the right reasons and not for sideways shit, then, oh, Spirit says you need to take off the blinders. So there's something that you are forcing that you are not seeing. You see it, but you don't want to look at it. So you're keeping the blinders on. You don't want to look at the, the truth, the hard truth that might hurt you because it doesn't follow along with what it is that you want to hear or that you want to see. But once you're able to do that, And you're able to walk away from this idea that you had made up in your head. What are the blessings that are to follow? Ooh. Looks like you are going to be approached. You won't have to do any of the work. Someone is going to come to you. Give us more. Mm. 
Mm. You're going to break somebody's heart. This person is going to try to take charge. This person's going to try to take charge and be with you. They're going to be aggressive and let you know what's up. Just like you're trying to do with the other person. Okay? Switch the roles however it resonates. How funny. You're going to break their heart. <laughs> wow. That's crazy. Their love is going to be too much of a burden to you. The tower and the three of swords, you're going to hurt them. You're not going to do it on purpose, but you're going to end up breaking their heart. Because you're not into them. Isn't that how it always is? Okay. Why is Collective going to break their heart? Wow. Too into you, too easy, so they so you don't like it. Yep. You would never fight for this connection because they're too into you. Well, I guess take that as a warning. Let's get some advice. Don't leave this person on. Have the courage to let them know that they're really not your cup of tea, not really what they're looking for. Let them down easy, be their friend. Don't leave them in a state of confusion. Don't leave them on thinking that you want to establish something with them. Don't play any tricks on them. Magicians in reverse. Four of Wands in reverse. Good, good karma is needed here. Just being a good, an all-around good person. There is some lessons that need to be learned here. Um, that you need to work with spirit okay don't try to control your life so much you're not that in control okay you can do things to manipulate uh, how you get to places but as far as where you're going you have no choice as to where you're going how you're getting there that's another thing so don't try to control where you're going all right let me say that don't try to control things period all right have that conversation, work with spirit, work with your guides, have that mental awareness to work with the energies around you that are leading you left and right. In other words, listen to your guides, listen to your intuition, listen to your higher self, listen to your body, be aware of these things on a moment to moment basis and do the right thing and be a good person and see what blessings that will come to you because you have the wheel of fortune here. You have good luck coming to you. You have good things coming to you. You are about to close out a cycle, but by trying to force the issue, by trying to rush things, 
it's not happening. You're going to keep running into the same thing. You're going to keep running into lessons. Like you see here, you're trying to force something or somebody's trying to force something on you. Guess what's going to happen? The same thing is going to happen to them. And they're going to have to deal with the situation and look at the situation on the other person's side, on the other person's point of view to learn the lesson. So you're in this karmic hamster wheel, if you will, until you figure all this out, until you make the right decisions and you do the right thing, until you learn your lessons. And then that's when blessings will come. All right, that has been your read. Thanks for watching. Cardinal Tarot. Until next time.